What's up, everybody? We're back here in the garage. Gonna try to make show you guys how to make some uh, lures out of your old ones. If you have the molds, if you don't, get on doitmolds.com, check them out. They're great. They're kind of pricey, but not for what they are. I mean, I know some people, especially now, can't just like go throw 60 bucks, $70 out there for a mold, but if you can get it in the long run, it does save you money. But I'm gonna show you how to use your torn up lures to remelt into new lures, so. And of course I got a face mask now, so I don't burn myself and melt my face off because I don't need to look any worse than I already do. But let me show you the essentials. We got our water and our Welch's fruit snacks. Gotta have snacks. You gotta stay like energized, you know? And I mean, it's it says on the pack, I swear real fruit it's not just candy it's kind of just candy but yeah okay so obviously we're gonna have our injector our spoon to stir with and our cup to measure with I'm gonna try to make some new Rage Tail swimmers and some Senkos because I'm running out of them and I need more. That's really about the only reason I have for that. We might not be able to make both because we have different colors, but I always try to sort them the best that I can based off of their color. So. As y'all can see, I mean, we've got, they're all different colors, but if you notice, they're all fairly different colors of just a shade of green, so they should all melt together, make some sort of a green color. I don't know what's going to come out. It's going to have red flake, black flake, silver, but we're going to see, so stay tuned. It's going to be great. Fantastic. I'm excited. Do, 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 do. Oh, let's see here. Um, it's not plugged in. Of course not. So, Mark is plugged in now. So let's go. Um, two and a half minutes, and we'll see what that does. So we got the lures going. And, uh, I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know what's going on with it. Hopefully it doesn't blow up in the microwave. This might be a bad batch. There might be, I don't know if there's metal flake. Or what the hell is going on in here? Let's see here. I'll keep you all posted. We'll see if it does it again. But there's gotta be something metal in there for it to be sparking like that, I would think. But we'll see what happens. I might get away with it. It might blow up. I don't know, but I'll let y'all know. So far, anyways, nothing has blown up. Hasn't burnt. 
it actually kind of came out like a really cool color. I don't know if you guys are able to see it good enough on the camera. I'm over here in real life. But yeah, it's got a lot of red, black, and gold, and a little bit of silver in it. And apparently green. It's got it's got all the colors of the rainbow that you want, really. So let's see what we can't do with it. I am gonna try and put something underneath it so that maybe it'll kind of give it a, a tilt so I can get more out of it. We're gonna try just the Sankos. That works. If we have any left over, I'll try to inject it into the other mold. I got nothing but air. Hmm. All right, we'll try something else then. Put that in there. <laughs> Good. Throw those extras back in there, and what I'm going to do is instead of sucking it up with the injector, because there's not very much in here, I'm going to make sure it's not lumpy, probably stick it back in the microwave for a little bit, and then I'm just going to pour it straight into the injector, and hopefully that'll, that'll solve a lot of these issues. Again, if you haven't seen my previous videos, you always need to have a heat gun so that you get an infrared temperature gun. So you can tell what it is. It's only at 270. It needs to be a lot warmer. All right, so we're gonna try this again. Safely, hopefully. All right, now we're gonna wait. We'll give them 30 seconds and then we'll check them out, see what they look like. And this is what I was saying. See how there's a little bit left in the tube or the injector? This is where I messed up. Instead of waiting for it to cool, it's been, I mean, you can see they've sucked down now. If you can't see, I promise you they have. What I did where I messed up was as soon as I you know, injected them into each one. Instantly took this off because I thought that that little bit extra was dry. So, this time I'm gonna do it away from my face just to make sure. I got like a fear of this happening again. That's what I'm talking about. You can see that's empty. This is what I thought I took out. This piece right here. But as you can see, this was still soft on the inside in the center. And when it came out, it broke apart through here and squirted me right in the face and just burnt the ever living crap out of me. So be safe. Do all your, all your safety precautions, mask, well ventilated area, gloves. And I guess overall, just like be smart. Let's see how these turned out.
I'm excited and I'm a little worried because I don't know how well these did. <clears throat> we'll check the Senkos because we did those first. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that. And they've cooled off since they've been in the the mold. It's almost like a like a Christmas color kind of. Let me get over here. Better light for you guys. So you've got the green, the black, and the red. You can see we've got some blue. But it's heavy glitter. I mean, you can't be... You can't be mad. At, I don't think you can have too much glitter, you know? you got. I, I love heavy glitter lures. That's just how I am. But uh, I think they'll work great. And also, you know, can't be mad about... These, I mean, as you all saw, were totally different lures, and I just pretty much recycled them and turned them into this, so I guess, like, go green as well, but, yeah, we'll take these off the sprue, and then go check on the other one. All right, so we got the gloves back on. This one, we'll go ahead and shut again. We'll pop this baby open, and always check, you know, it's not, it's not tacky or anything, so it should be done. I just hope we had enough left in the injector, and it looks like we did. Yeah. Get back in this light so you guys can see a little bit better. So, I mean... Same thing, basically, as the Senkos, you know. We've got this multi-flake lure. And as you saw, they all pretty much, at first they were all different colors of green, but now, I mean, they're basically this dark green. I don't know. You might call it a watermelon green. But this one's even got some purple flake in it. So, I mean, put it on the back of a, uh, of a uh, swim jig or just an underspin you know, and I think this would work. I think it'd be a good bluegill or sunfish imitation for sure, especially with all the gold and black flake that's in it. So yeah, I'm going to use the rest of this stuff up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, um, my glass cup's pretty much gone. Pretty sure there was some kind of metal. I don't know if it was, if they use like a metal flake in these lures or what was going on, but I tried to pour some fluke lures, and as you can see, it just it just wasn't happening. So, yeah, that's my bad. I should have made sure what kind of glitter those lures had in them and all this and that, but, I mean, out of some lures that were pretty much just given to me as trash, we were able to turn out four Senkos and a Rage Tail Swimmer, so can't be too mad about it. I'm sure not. I'm going to be excited to use these and this, so yeah, I mean, I got something out of it. Hopefully, the other used lures that I got that I have in my box over there will be better quality and they won't have that issue. I know it was a short video, but... Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all learned something about sticking metal in the microwave. Don't do it. Glad y'all could join me today and go through this new experience with me. I'm not going to call it life changing because I'm still going to stick used lures in the microwave, but I'm going to get some new pirate glasses. I'm probably going to get two. That way I can do multiple colors. I've been using one this whole time. So I got to wait for the stuff to cool, take it out, put new plastics all in so on and so forth, and it would just save time to have two anyways. But yeah, so if you do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you want to. I'll try to get more videos out. I'm trying to, the semester pretty much just ended, so I'm trying to like wrap out as many videos as I can while I can. So yeah, later. See ya.